What is up gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the first of a series I want to start on the channel. We are going to do a small account high growth portfolio and we are going to start with a thousand dollars. At the end of each week we are going to contribute a hundred dollars. I did already do the first contribution so technically we are at eleven hundred and by contributing a hundred at the end of every week this will hold me accountable to save money. Also by contributing a hundred dollars we should have a decent sized portfolio which will be about fifty two hundred dollars and if we pick the right stocks then we should at least have this at a range of about eight thousand to ten thousand dollars so that is the goal if you guys want to be a part of the journey subscribe to the channel smash the like button and also let me know a couple companies that you guys think would fit in this portfolio so with that being said let's get started and i'll show you guys my initial positions so as you can probably tell by the title of the video i'm actually already down we're down to $977 from about $1,100. So we're down about 11, 12%. And that's because I started buying this week. And I actually got in a bit earlier than the dip. So uh, I'm a little frustrated about that. But at the same time, I wanted to start this account because this month could be the best opportunity to start this account um, since it's currently tax harvesting. A lot of people are selling. So hopefully this pays off. And then sometime in the future, we look back and we're like, yeah, we did a good job starting it in December. So now I'm going to share you guys the positions I got. I'll give you a brief overview of what I got and why. But if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments and also let me know if there's any sectors you think that would be great in this high growth portfolio. All right, so we're going to start off with the smallest position first. This is Joby Aviation. I got this one under $8. I am down a bit on it, but we only have an 11% position. So this one is going to be a higher growth, but down the road, I think this one will pay its dividends not physically a percent dividend but just you know what i mean so and i say that because i think taxis flying taxis will be a thing helicopters are a thing now but the environment needs to go green so electric vertical takeoff vehicles i think is the right way to go and not many people are jumping on this yet uh, there's just one wall street guy but once the rest of the wall streeters uh, they get on it then things will start working for us I mean, just check out their website. I think in my opinion, these guys are the best, um, but I do have a few videos on this company. So make sure you go through and see uh, those videos as well. So this one's definitely going to be a good one. It's got Uber, Toyota, and a whole bunch of other names. So definitely consider even a small stake in this one. So Joby, definitely one of the more riskier plays since they are the only pre-revenue position that I have in this portfolio. But this one is the complete opposite. These guys recently smashed their earnings and they sold off. Uh, this is my second largest position. It's 18% currently. Do plan to add more to this. I just didn't allocate the positions correctly. So for now, some of the weight percentages are wrong and I need to get those uh, moved and allocated to where I'm more comfortable. But I do plan on at least having this at 20% uh, and that might be be a bit aggressive but i'm very bullish on this one i think this one's trading like at four price to sales i believe i bought this one a little more expensive around 20 dollars but i think over time we'll be able to get that average down and hopefully build a bigger position and you already know this one's a favorite in the channel but i just want to re-emphasize these guys brand themselves as live sports first but i think they're sneaking their way into uh sitcoms and like other media entertainment and not to mention the sports side in the gaming so this is going to be like a smaller version of netflix tons of backing from disney comcast and bringing up disney you guys know that they're trying to enter the sports betting so that just tells you that fubu was ahead of the game from the beginning so they're being very innovative and ahead of their time uh so definitely want to consider in your portfolio if you guys want to see more of this one i have videos on this one in my channel so feel free to watch those and let me know if you guys want me to do an update video my third largest position at 21% right now is Genius. I think I have this one around $9, so I am down a bit. Uh, this is another solid play in my opinion. This is the sports side. So since FUBU is not directly involved in the sports betting, they're still trying to penetrate that market. This one is like a back-end middleman for sports betting. These guys are providing the data for the sports betting. So that kind of helps relieve some of the stress of having to pick the right online better big sports betting company, right? So DraftKings is currently number one, Penn State's around there, but you never know if there's some, somebody new. 
um, the Bakhtelian Genius brand, they have NFL contracts, NBA, so they're going to constantly make revenue regardless because they're just selling the data. I don't have an individual video on Genius Sports, but I could make one down the road. In the meantime, I would say check out their website. They are pretty active on their news. Like they just expanded their partnership with NFL products, FanDuel, uh, tons of really interesting stuff. And by the way, they smashed earnings. They did great. I think they upgraded their guidance for the full year numbers. I'm not too specifically, but I know they did great. Uh, would have to go and look at those numbers. Um, and just to kind of wrap things up, look at these partnerships. They got NFL Premier League. This is huge in Europe, not to mention FUBU. And then the actual sports betting platforms, you got Etain, Flutter, Bit. 365 DraftKings 888 and one of the new ones here points bet that one's one I covered on the channel recently and this is one I haven't covered this one's actually really interesting too you guys should take a look at this one it's going to go through a spec if you guys want me to do a video on that let me know but overall this is just the middleman for sports betting it's going to be one of the biggest markets in the coming years so I could definitely see this one go back up to 20 25 dollars um, hopefully within a year Okay, my fourth out of five picks that I have in the portfolio right now is Open Door. It's a 22%. It is a bit larger, and that's because I added this Friday. I bought some on the dip. I didn't get near the bottom, but I still picked up a couple good shares. So we currently have 15 shares now, and this one's trading like at a 2 P per sales ratio. Uh, so this is super undervalued, uh, in my opinion. I'm sure you guys know of Open Door. They're in the real estate. They basically created a whole new market for themselves, which is the iBuy platform, and that just eliminates a whole bunch of costs. I think this one's going to do well. The housing market might come down in the short term, but I still think these guys will have an opportunity to grow. And like I said, it's trading at a two. So this one's definitely one I wanted to have in the portfolio. I won't go over their website because their website's kind of plain, but you basically got some Ford's articles and stuff. At the end of the day, it's just a real estate play. I think it will do great. Uh, it's just basically innovating a new way to sell houses and elim eliminating a lot of costs and um, stress on both the seller and buyers. But basically, if they can continue to post those revenues and really great earnings, um, then these guys will definitely be at the top of the real estate chain. My fifth and largest position right now is decarbonization plus acquisition. It is currently a SPAC, but it's going to be taking Tritium public. It is an EV charging company founded like in 2001. These guys are actually very well established. Uh, I do have a video if you guys want to check that out. Uh, I go more in depth on it, but I think they are solid. And right now my position is a bit bigger than I actually wanted to. Uh, my plan is to sell at least 10% on a next rip and then take those profits and be able to add to one of my current positions positions or buy one of the other stocks that I've been looking at that aren't in the portfolio yet. So the EV pumps come in cycles and uh, we usually get at least once a month. So hopefully this one can get some momentum with one of those since we have the infrastructure bill and everything else shifting to electric. I think this one will definitely pay off in the long term. But if you guys want to know more about Tritium, make sure you check out that video. I think you guys will like what you guys see. All right, guys, before I close out this video, I want to show you an overview of my current positions. Uh, we do have 1100 invested right now, but we are currently sitting at 977. I'm not worried. I think these are going to grow pretty well other than Joby, which as of right now, I don't expect to see much growth until later in two years. Joby is definitely just a placeholder. I want to start building that position out. And then once Wall Street starts jumping in the Ivido wave, then we're already going to have a nice build out position. Just how there's an electric vehicle wave there's going to be an Ivita wave in my opinion so this one having a nice position will definitely pay off i still gotta decide which one's going to be the big player because there are one or two that i'm really interested joby being one of them uh for now i got them because they definitely got the partnerships um the rest of the picks are already making pretty good revenue currently the one that we're down the most is 13 percent, and that's on genius sports not worried i think they'll do well Google, you already know i've been a bull since long before the run-ups and then tritium is going to do well if the merger gets approved so that one's a little risky just because we have warrants and the merger could fail but in my opinion i don't see that happening so i think we're good Joby, we kind of already talked about. That one's something we want to build out for the long term. And then Open Door's been killing it with their house sales. So uh, they are doing great. So that was an easy pickup. So guys, that's all I have for today's video. There's still like four or five companies I want to add, but I just don't have the capital yet. As you can see, but hopefully by the end of next year, we have a more mature portfolio and we can actually start seeing some profits. So I'm excited to see where this takes us. 
If you guys want to follow the journey, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you know when we upload. And don't forget to comment the stock that you guys think deserves to be on the portfolio. And I can do some research offline and maybe it makes it into the portfolio. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Panic boom!